I think uh, we're aware and I'm aware that while the aggregate numbers are good and unemployment is low and surveys overall of households are very positive about the job market, not everybody is experiencing the recovery. Not every demographic group, not every place uh, are experiencing this. So we, we call that out in our, you know, uh, in every FOMC meeting and, and in all of our public communications, as I, I did in my testimony this morning. And, um, you know, we, we understand that what ma we have to take maximum employment seriously, and we do. I mean, we've, you know, we've been supporting the, a strong labor market for a long time, despite many calls for us to raise interest rates much more quickly. I'm glad that we, we stayed in uh, longer than that, and I think gradually raising rates is, is the way for us to extend this expansion. Nothing hurts working families and people at the margin of the labor markets more than a recession. Well, you're probably going to have a couple more interest rates. What specific steps, then, are you taking to foster broad-based wage growth so that the average worker, not just managers and executives, are reaping the benefits? I mean, uh, I can't accept that wages are growing when the uh, Bureau of Labor Statistics points out that production and non-supervisory workers saw their wages fall two-tenths of a percent, and that's despite increasing their average work week to make up for it. So they're getting squeezed. So um, the latest, latest uh, uh, government report was that wages went up 2.7 percent for production, non-supervisory workers and supervisory workers over the last 12 months. So and that's higher. That's moving up. Uh, it also happens that inflation has moved up and that a, a sort of a bump in energy prices is passing through the headline inflation number. Uh, so uh, I think overall, though, you see inflation at about a 2 percent trend. You see wages at 2.7 percent. So. I think those trends are healthy, and I think they're reflected in what are pretty positive surveys among workers generally. Let me ask you this. Uh, these working families we're talking mm -hmm. about are the first to feel the impact when banks, big banks and corporations take risky bets with no accountability. When we passed Dodd-Frank, we included language to ban incentive-based compensation practices that reward senior executives for irresponsible risk-taking. Regulators issued a proposal in 2016 mm -hmm. But more than two years later, nothing has been finalized. In the meantime, Wall Street bonuses jumped 17 percent last year to an average of more than $184,000, the most since 2006, and that's bonuses alone. Now, you have made time to weaken Wall Street oversight by revisiting capital rules, revisiting leverage rules, proposing changes to the Volcker rule, all of which were finalized after years of deliberation, public comments, and input from other regulators, and all of which protect our economy from another financial crisis. How is it, Mr. Chairman, that you have not made time to finish the incentive-based compensation rulemaking for the first time? And can you give me a commitment today as to a timeline for when this will be done? We, um, we tried for many years. To, it's a multi-agency rule, the incentive comp rule. We, tried, we, we were not able to achieve consensus over a period of many years between the, the various regulatory agencies that need to sign off on that. But that didn't stop us from acting, you should know. We, for, particularly for the largest institutions, we do expect that they will have in place compensation plans that, that do not provide uh, incentives for excessive risk taking. And we expect that the board of directors will make sure that that's the case. And uh, so it's not something that we haven't done. We've, in fact, moved ahead through supervisory practice to, to make sure that these things are, are, are better than they were and they're substantially better than they were. You see much better compensation practices here focusing mainly on the big firms where the problem really was. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.